Hi everybody, um, I was just wondering if you could pray uh, with me for Afghanistan. I felt led to come on and pray. I don't know much about the situation, um, haven't seen much news on it, but just a little bit to know that the situation is crisis. Um, so Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, I just ask that you would um, come and guide our prayers and the prayers of the people who are praying with me and help us to lift up our Christian brothers and sisters um, who are in danger in Afghanistan from the Taliban which has taken over or as well as other people um, who are non-Christian but are there as workers, farmers, military, anyone that's um, there helping um, that that is in danger Lord Father God um, dear Lord Jesus I just send your angels I send 10,000 angels Lord maybe a hundred thousand angels over to Afghanistan Lord I just ask that they would protect every person that uh, you want to protect Lord every person that you are concerned about I just pray that they would just whisper comfort in the ears of every person who is afraid, every person who is hiding, every person who doesn't know what their future is, Lord Father God. I just pray that um, that you will afford the governments that are getting, like the American government, the New Zealand government, probably the English government as well, and other governments are uh, getting their people out um via plane or however lord i just pray that you will just put a hedge of protection around that and let um everybody that needs to escape be able to escape um i pray that you would um put a, an encampment of angels around the airports and around the people that you uh, want to protect uh, to get them safely to the airport, safely um, into the aeroplanes and back to their home countries. And Lord, I just pray for um, the Christians in Afghanistan. I pray for those who are fearing for their lives, Lord Jesus. Um, I just pray that, Lord, that you will protect those who are destined to be protected, Lord Father God. I pray that you would send your angels um to um just surround them so that they are invisible to the enemy invisible to the taliban invisible to anyone who would try and harm them i pray that um the angels would um make any sounds they make silent or just uh just hide them both physically and and by sound um i just pray lord father god that ever if they're in a position where they're caught and they're offered the the choice of denying god i pray that they would be strong enough to maintain their faith and maintain their um stand for christ and their belief in christ lord i just pray for the children that you'll protect the children that no child will be left unaccompanied um looking for adults i just pray that you will place safe adults around um any children and just that any children that are stray around the place that are vulnerable lord i just pray for maybe american military or some other caring adult to take them under their wing to look after them lord jesus i just pray lord that you would intervene in this situation that ah uh, lord i just pray for the um even for the taliban lord jesus that i just pray that they would have 90 days of dreams that they would be um urgent dreams um that father jesus holy spirit or um or angels appear in the dream in whatever form you choose with whatever urgent message you need to send to every single one of those taliban 
members for anyone who has intention to do evil, that you will warn them through the dreams or that if they need to know your love, if they need to know the way of salvation. I just pray, Lord Jesus, that that right before they wake, they would have a vivid dream that they just can't forget that you would give them the interpretation from. I pray this also for people all over Afghanistan, whether they're natives to the country or whether they're there to help or whether they're there on holiday or they're working there for some reason. I just pray, Lord, that you would send angels into the dreams of everyone with a message from the Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, that they have a vivid dream and that, Lord, that you would give um, the people strategies, ways of defending themselves. Lord Jesus, I just pray that you would give wisdom and strategy to governments that could, if there's any way of intervening in the government situation or dealing with those rebels, dealing with those Taliban, Lord. If there's anything, Lord, that the governments, if they band together, can do something to stop this this takeover, Lord, I just ask that, Lord, that, that you download strategies from heaven to the, the people from the West who are in Afghanistan, who are your people, as well as people who just are loving and good people but don't know you, that you would download ideas, strategies, prayers, and to the Christians um, who are fearing for their lives that the Taliban have said they will come in after and kill them. Lord, I just pray, Lord Father God, that you will download strategies from heaven, ways to escape, ways to protect themselves, ways to handle the situation, to, to handle themselves. I pray for everyone that is afraid Lord Jesus, I just ask, I send those, maybe send a million angels, Lord, to just put their arms around um, people who are afraid, people who are alone. Lord Jesus, little old ladies sitting in in their rooms by themselves or just, just people that need your comfort. I just pray that you just place a blanket of comfort around them right now, Lord Jesus. Um, yeah, I just pray that the angels would guard and defend those who are destined for eternal life, Lord Jesus. I just pray, Lord Jesus, that anyone who needs to get the message of salvation before it's too late, Lord, that you will speak to them in a dream or in an angelic encounter. Lord, I just pray that you do the miraculous like you did with the Israelites in the Red Sea. Um. And you made a way for the Israelites. They weren't killed by the Egyptians. Lord, you made a way. You've done it once. You can do it again. Lord, I just pray that Christians would rise up and pray for the Afghan people and all those who are in danger in Afghanistan at the moment. I pray, Lord, that you would intervene. I pray, Lord, Father God, that man could do what he can do or he can do to intervene, that people will do what they can to help, Lord Jesus, that that you will put a bomb under anyone who is in leadership who could do something that otherwise wouldn't care and just bring the conviction of God upon them that they need to move on the situation. If they're in the power to take action to do something, they need to move and they need to, I just pray you'd give them wisdom to know what to do to rescue people, to help people. Um, and I just pray for the peace that surpasses all understanding um, for every frightened Christian in, in Afghanistan or frightened person, full stop, Lord Jesus, or person from the West that's fleeing the country and trying to get to the airplanes to uh, get out of the country, Lord, I just pray for your divine peace. I pray for your peace that surpasses all understanding to guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And I thank you, Lord that you are with them. I just pray that you would appear as signs and wonders in the heavens, that like there'll be a sandstorms of the faces of Jesus and things that are miraculous will happen and signs will happen in the sky, things that will rock the Taliban and rock their belief in their faith, but that will, um, will cause them to doubt their what they believe, and to come to know about the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Um, 
I just pray you'd put heavy conviction on any of the Taliban who um, who are set in their mind to do evil things and to kill people, Lord Jesus. I just pray that that they would not be able to move, that they would be under such heavy weight of conviction, the, the heavy weight of conviction would be upon them that they would not be able to carry out their plans, Lord Jesus, or even that you would, um, when they try and harm people, that you would send the angels to tie their hands behind their backs, to paralyze their arms, to stop them from being able to do anything, to stop the bullets coming out of the guns, to just protect people supernaturally, Lord, as only you can do. And just um, help those who need aid. And I just pray for um, for provisions of finance and food and, and things that are needed in this hour, Lord Jesus. I ask for the, for the worldwide body of Christ, Lord Father God, to... Um, close ranks I think I don't know if that's the right way of saying it but just to pull together is what I'm trying to say pull together um in one mind and one heart not worrying about the differences and the differences in belief and theology and political differences Lord but just realize that this is a crisis and these people's lives are at stake and there needs to be something done to help these people Lord Father God I just pray Lord Father God that you will intervene I pray Lord Jesus that even when man can't intervene that Lord you Lord you can do miracles Lord you can do wonders Lord you can show yourself great and mighty and glorious in this situation you can turn the hearts of evil men around you can embolden and just fill with the Holy Spirit the power and the strength and the courage of the Holy Spirit with those who are currently terrified, Lord Jesus, that you can embolden them um, to stand firm in their faith and to do what they need to do um, to protect themselves and to stand firm and strong, knowing that their God is with them, knowing that their God um, is there for them and will never leave them nor forsake them. So, Lord, I just ask that you be with every heart that is crying, that is wavering, that is quaking, that is unsure what to do, and I ask that you steady that heart. I pray that you steady those um, wavering knees, those those trembling knees, Lord Father God, and I just ask that you do a miracle for the people of Afghanistan and the people who are currently in Afghanistan who are not nationals. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and thank you for praying with me. Please continue to pray for um, Afghanistan and look after yourselves as well, and um, may God be with you.